Lasagna goes nice with Caruso. What's the matter? You have not eaten? You don't like it? Can you make it better? All right, what's wrong with it? Too much garlic. <laughs> you are telling me I don't know how to make a lasagna. 25 years I didn't make a lasagna. Everybody tells me I made the best lasagna in New York City. Eva Rose, my beautiful wife, may she be happy never. Said nobody made a better lasagna. And uh, she was an expert. Too much garlic, too much garlic. You're right. Too much garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, there's no one else in the restaurant. Will you sit down and stop treating me like a customer? Yeah. So. Uh, alla salute. Come on, what else do the boys have to say? Rosario got A in child... Psychology. That's a poor guy. He's gonna make a fine teacher. Mm. And Enrico was just elect president of his... Uh, Fraternity. Say, say, uh, he's a very popular boy. Mm. And they both say, do not get me anything for Christmas. And tell Angie not to get me anything too. They're right, you know, you do enough. Too much. All that money you're spending, where is it coming from? Couldn't they go to school here? No, you had to send them to some fancy place in New England. Ivy League. Ivy League. A few vines on the buildings, Dominic, doesn't make them any smarter. Look, they sent a snapshot. That's a Rosario, that's a Rico. That's a Rosario, that's a Rico. Have they changed so much in three months I wouldn't recognize them? They're like my own son. Fine looking boys. Very good boys, too. They don't fool around. They take school seriously. <laughs>
one Who's with me while your partner's gone Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah I said a candy ain't sweet Unless it's a peppermint I said a candy ain't sweet unless it's a peppermint. Well, a twist is not the twist unless you shake it while your back is bent. I said the twist is not the twist unless you shake it while your back is bent. I said the twist is not the twist unless you shake it while your back is bent. Chocolate frosted. Same, honey. I don't know. We're here every night, classes all day. We're gonna blow that scholarship for sure. You were the big genius that told Papa it only costs a thousand dollars a year to go to college. Okay, so I tell him what it really costs. <laughs> he takes a mortgage out on a mortgage and turns into king size pizza. You know, Papa's not so young anymore. You don't want to be a teacher, and I don't want to be a lawyer. So why let Papa knock himself out putting us through school? I mean, we've hit on something big, Joey. Not just a new dance, but a new sound, a new beat. I tell you, when it hits, we'll have it made. Okay. So you tell them we're gonna quit school for the twist. Look, we're going home for Christmas vacation on Tuesday, right? We'll be home for two whole weeks. We'll just wait for the right time, and then we'll tell them. Sure. Like there's a the right time to break his heart. To Enrico and to Rosario. Yoli Mie, if your mama was here tonight, she would be proud of you, as much as proud as I am. Come on, drink. It's good wine. Angelina crushed the grapes with her own feet. Pazzo! <laughs> uh, mm. And now, for the family lawyer. Oh, Papa, we told you not to. Who ever heard of Christmas without presents? Besides, a lawyer needs an expensive look and briefcase. It gives his customer more, uh, how do Confidence. That's right, more conference. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for the picture of the family, Encyclopedia Britannica, A to B. That's it. Look. Oh. Ah. Ah. How can you wrap up the Encyclopedia Britannica? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, Papa. But Rick and I wrote to you. Oh, please, please. It gives me pleasure to give my boys something nice. Now the kids ask you something you don't know. You sneak a look to the book. <laughs> Papa, Angie and Joey and myself, we chipped in and, well, we know this is one you don't have. Oh, Enrico Caruso, Vesti la Giubba, 907. Thank you. Where did you find it? Papa, there's something that Joey and I have been wanting to you tell you. You call this the right time? There's not going to be a right time, Joey. What's the big secret? The right time, the right time. So what is it? It's nothing important, Papa. It can wait. No, no. I know, my boys. You want to tell me something I'm not going to like to hear. So I know. Even when you were just a bambini. So what is it? We're not going back to school, Papa. Not going back? <laughs> what is it? Some kind of a joke? Enrico, <laughs> you pull at my foot. No, Papa. No? Then you must be crazy. How are you going to be a teacher if you don't study? And you? You think a lawyer can pass the bar examination unless they are graduated? I don't want to be a lawyer, Papa. What do you mean? Is that what you wanted? Always. Even since you were a little kid. That's what you've always wanted, Papa, not me. Ah, come on. 
This is something we will pass. Yes. You are tired. You work too hard in the school. It's not that, Papa. I don't understand. You got a chance to be something important, and you don't want to take that chance. Do you want to spend your life in the kitchen like me? I always think my children, my boys, they have ambition, they want something very important for themselves. And that's why I don't mind to work hard. And that's why I don't mind the two thousand dollars Papa, that I pay on it. It costs three thousand dollars a year for each one of us. What do you mean? They raise the price? Three thousand dollars? Okay. I'll give you the three thousand dollars. How, Papa? How? And why? That's not what we want. Passa così! I don't want to hear any more about it. I'll get you the three thousand dollars. No, Papa. Don't tell me no. Ingratful. Mrs. Vasselli, why would I lie to you? It's not a heart attack. It's simply overwork. He's just trying to do too much. Hey, it's a big secret or something. If I am on my last feet, tell me, not her. I am the one who should know. Stop exciting yourself. Oh, she shouted at me. Then I must go in to leave. I'll try to keep him in bed two or three weeks. And keep his mind off business. The most important thing is rest, bed rest. Here. If you can't sleep, give him one of these. Hey, if a man is dying, he got the right to hear firsthand. Oh, big doctor. I used to wipe your nose. Who's paying you the money? Her or me? You be a good boy. How is he, Doc? Is he going to be all right? Enrico, Rosario, do you love your papa? Then you go in there and tell him what he wants to hear. Right now, go in there and tell him you'll do exactly as he wants. Do you understand? Goodbye, doctor. Thank you very much. Goodbye, doctor. Now. All right, Angel. Papa, you're going to be all right. Sure, sure. You're right, Papa, about what you said. You know about being knocked out and all? We've been hitting the books pretty hard. Just a couple of weeks of relaxation. You need a change. Hand me my pen. Forget it. Doctor says you got to stay in bed for two weeks. What does he know? I used to wipe his nose. Who's going to run the store? The doctor? Sure. Forget about the store. Joey and I have nothing to do for the next couple of weeks. Oh, yeah? Sure. <laughs> Since when do you know how to make a ravioli? Don't worry about the ravioli. I make it better than you do. Oh, please. I want to have a few customers left. Never mind. You too. Go do something. Yeah, Pop. Gonna... What's the matter? Are you ashamed to kiss your papa in front of me? Night, boys. Night. Don't forget, the restaurant opens at 9 o'clock. You think we are going to spend the night here? You are crazy. You flatter yourself. Here. What? It'll help you sleep. Who said I'm tired? You need a rest. Angelina, how long do you know me? Too long. Then you know when I say I'm not going to take that pill, I'm not going to take it out. Una voce, una guitarra e poco e luna E che voglio per far la serenata Per sospirar d'amore piano piano Parole dolce per innamorata Te voglio bene tanto, tanto bene Lontano a te non posso più Una voce, una guitarra e poco e luna E come dolce che sta serenata Avvocato in sua costa più vicina E tutta stringa me più appassionata 
like this? To tell you the truth, and I wouldn't lie, this is one of our better nights. Well, we took in $15 all day. How does he do it? $1,000 to me each year for three years, $1,000 to Joey already this year. Did you ever look in his closet? One suit. Hey, man, this must be the place. Yeah. Hey, I hear some live ones. Up, both of you. Say, man, where you get those country buttons from? Come in, man. Hi, Sam. All right, how you been, man? How's everything, man? Okay, come on over here. We'll put a couple of tables together. Yo, man, put you to work, huh? You sure did. Ow! That's not a step. Put your hands, baby! Whoa! Wait, what you waiting on? Let's get some chairs. Gig size pizza, six plates. Okay. Blast of the big time spenders. Enrico Caruso! Must be new, man. What you waiting on? Put it on. Swing it, swing it, man. Swing it. I guess we're ahead of this time. Hey, George, you got anything better than that? That's all I need, baby. Hey, yeah. come on. I think we have an organ here somewhere. You want to give me a hand? Bring up some of this stuff. That's it. Put them trees against the wall, Carl. All right. Woo! You're alive! <laughs> a little bit roly poly with it. Hey, let's twist, kids. I'll get the coach. Roly poly, roly poly, you're the apple of my eye. Roly poly, roly poly, let me be your sweetie pie. I know you got a lover and treat you good. But he ain't a cheating you like I could. Holy smokes, we're gonna get raided. <laughs> Relax. Relax. Is this why you don't want to go back to school? It's a good thing you don't have a chance to get your papa. I'll give you more than a slap in the face. Holy holy, holy holy, you're the apple of my eye. Can you do? And people will be laughing when they see me out with you. I don't mind them talking. I don't care what they say. I just want to get you because I love you that way. You roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. You're the apple of my eye. Don't you know I love you? Don't you know I need you? Don't you know I want you? Unbelievable. If it was like this every night, your papa's worries would be over. Angie, why couldn't it be like this every night? A little miracle, maybe? Why not? The fellas have nothing better to do. Push back a couple of tables, fix up the bandstand. In your papa's Neapolitan garden? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, this place is like a shrine to him. I move an ashtray, he wants to bite my head off. You want to push back tables? What's better, an empty restaurant or a crowded dance floor? You got a point. Sure, and the fellas wouldn't mind a little paint and get rid of this jungle.
miracle. Pray for a big one when your papa sees what you've done to his Neapolitan garden. Ah, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Start worrying. Remember what the doctor said? No excitement? Please. We did help him much. So? So you take over the rest. And this is the way you take over the rest. My beautiful Neapolitan garden. Now, wait a minute, Papa. What have you done of it? My fiori, the mie fiori artificiali, mie decorazioni. Papa, speak to me in English so I can defend myself. You are mama fix this place, and I never change an ashtray tray in 50 years. Where did the old people come from? And who told you to hire an orchestra? What is this? The Metropolitan Opera House? Ha! Ah, an orchestra. Ah. Look at all these people. And think of all the money. And if, if you think this is something, wait till New Year's. New Year's? Five blocks in 20 minutes. Oh, we're going to be late. Patience. Patience, sweetness. Besides, nobody's there yet anyway. It's two o'clock. Oh, you tell time beautifully, sweetness. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, you're an animal. Yes, I do. Yes, yes. Yes, baby. Hey. Glasses. Chanel number five on flacon. Cufflink. Oh, Dory Sweetness, minor tragedy. No cigarettes. You don't have any. No, of course you don't. Sweetness, I am positively hooked, and the cupboard is bare. You can stop off on the way. We have been stopped on the way for five minutes. Be a nice little promise. Better play right now. Hop out and get some. Change? Don't you even carry mad money. All right. Yeah, 35 cents. I'll be right back. You feel better? How about a short loan? You promised to return the merchandise in good condition. Have you ever thought of harnessing all that power? Come on, baby, get with it. Oh, yeah. New Year's Eve, should new acquaintance, that's 
Workout, baby. Da, 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 da. I can do that. <laughs> Workout. With what? Here are your cigarettes. What are you doing? You want to sit down? Come sit by us, baby. Where? Over here. Oh, darling. I'm not that good. We can make room, baby. Miss Cassidy, I'll get you a table. Oh, you know me. Oh, jeez. Right this way. Come on. Oh, excuse me. What do you have? You mix it, I'll drink it. Do you when I get back? <laughs> oh, no, I don't like the oh. Who's a special treatment? I'm the recognizer that's Sharon Cassidy, the columnist. Should I be impressed? Just one line about the lounge and the column and we're in. I didn't know we were out. Get out. Woo. There we go. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> there you are. Oh! A vodka malt. How interesting. Just a malted. We don't serve the hard stuff. Well, back on the match account tomorrow. Chin chin. <laughs> Sorry, darling, I want you to meet Mr. Leonardo. Oh, he was kind enough to materialize the table out of thin air. You know Dory Saxon? Boy Playroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> darling, he wrote, Do you remember a handful of lint? No, how could you? Off Broadway, one night. Darling, don't just stand there. Pull up a table and dance or something. What do you call that divine thing that you do? The twist. Oh, well, why not? <laughs> I already had one lesson with some gorgeous animal back there. Darling! Darling, sweetness. Take my look at it. Darling, I'm going to show you something. Darling, I'm going to show you something. Gotta go home. Give me a good night kiss. It's a pity to say farewell because the man in the moon won't tell. But if you gotta go home, you just gotta go home. Give me a good night. 
I'll give you just five seconds to open your eyes. You awake? Mm. Mm. I have news. You may or may not know it, but you are speaking to La Chairman of the Toy Ball. Toy who? Not who, sweet. The Toy Ball, that's my pet charity. And it just so happens that an alternate orchestra is needed for Phil Bennett. And I get to pick and choose. You're kidding. $1,000. Is that serious enough? Give me a minute to throw some pants on. I'll be right over. Good, good. It will be champagne dinner under the chandeliers and the twist on the dance floor tonight at the Gala Toy Ball. From the Peppermint Lounge, west side cradle of the twist will come Joey and Ricky D and the Starlighters to play at tonight's east side thrash. Are you 
you ready for this? Who is that? Retract your landing gear, sweetness. The field is closed. You fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Away we go. Well, in the blue, come on and blow your horn. Tell me the people bring a sheep along. We got a band in the yard and we're gonna twist till dawn. Well, old King Cole did the rock and roll. And now he does the twist. He's a very old soul and he rolls. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting and the mother goose twisting too. Well, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. He couldn't get off to do the twist at all in the road. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting and the mother goose twisting too. Well, step aside, the mother goose. You ought to see her twisting when we cut her loose. She rolls. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting and the mother goose twisting too. Well, Jack be nimble and Jack be quick. Jack's gonna twist around the candlestick and we roll. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting and the mother goose twisting too. Let's twist. We're gonna twist all around the clock and we roll. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting and the mother goose twisting too. Well, little Miss Muffet, how do you do? Get hit. That spider wants to twist with you when we roll. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting and the mother goose twisting too. Well, little old lady that lives in a shoe, bring along your kids, we're gonna twist that food till gone. Shaking and twisting. We go shaking and twisting, and the mother goose twisting too. Dionato, honey. Oh, I changed it, sweetness. I mean, Enrico Dionato. It sounds so, um, I don't know. Italian. Come back, sweetness. Here comes the other brother. <laughs> Joey, um, uh, introductions again. Piper Patton, Bruce Duncan, Dory Saxon. There. there are some people I want you to meet. My cool people. Uh, Kilgallen, Winchell. Sullivan. Influential type types. Congratulations. On what? I only got as far as Cecilia Hayakawa. Table hopping time. What's bugging him? Oh, he's an angry young man, Kirk. Why don't you sit down, Joey? Has Ricky known Sharon long? How long does it take? Oh, they've got a thing? Could be. She is kind of dynamic, isn't she? And famous and beautiful in an offbeat way. And too old for him, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. I'm going to be very frank with you. Do you mind? I mean, I believe in being utterly frank with people, even though you hardly know them at all. You can know someone for 20 years and still not know them. That's true, isn't it? And by the same token, you can know somebody five minutes and feel as though you've known them your whole life. That's been said before, hasn't it? Late, late show dialogue. But all the same, it's true. You're about to be very frank. Frank? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm in love with your brother. <laughs> That's Frank. Now, I don't want you to get the idea that I go around falling in love at the drop of a hat, because I don't. 
but I've always known just what I wanted in a man. And when I meet him, I'll know him the very minute. Don't I sound like a walking cliche? You're a kook, you know that? A cute kook, but a kook. Not really. I just talk a lot. Self-confidence. One of the advantages of being born into money, I guess. Of course, Sharon is going to be practically insurmountable competition. But I've got nothing better to do for the next three weeks. I'll wait. You'll wait. Oh, just three weeks. Three big, beautiful, glorious, heavenly weeks. At least that's the average time between Sharon's protégés. Gonna be a big three weeks. Mm -hmm. Look at poor Dor. He's just rounding out his third. Now, what logical excuse do I have for dropping around the lounge tomorrow before anyone's there? I mean, before it's really open. Well, you can meet me there at six for Cokes. That's when I come on. Will Ricky be there? Yeah, he opens up at five. It's a date. Great. Tomorrow at six. Hi. Uh, the lounge isn't open yet. We met last night. The toy ball, remember? Piper Patton. Sounds like something you should say fast three times, doesn't it? Piper Patton, Piper Patton, Piper Patton. <laughs> you know, like uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers? Yeah, well, uh, we don't open till 6 o'clock. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought your brother said five. I'm supposed to meet him here for a Coke. Well, he won't be here for another hour yet. Oh, wait. I've got nothing better to do. You just go ahead with what you're doing and uh, don't mind me. I'll just fade into the woodwork. What are you doing? I'm writing a twist. You mean those things are actually written down? <laughs> now, what's so funny about that? It's not actually funny, but I mean, you know in the movies, all those scenes with composers at the piano, it's always George Gershwin composing the Rhapsody in Blue or Beethoven having labor pains over the Moonlight Sonata, but actually sitting down and composing a twist. <laughs> I don't think I'll wait after all. Now, wait a minute. You mean to tell me you don't think this kind of music is important, right? Oh, just forget everything I've said. If Joey wants to know where I am, tell him around the corner, having my tongue cut out. Now, look, this music is just as important to the kids who dance to it as Beethoven's was in his time or, or Gershwin in his. You know, you're absolutely right. I never really thought of it that way. A composer must relate to his era. I mean, that's basic. <laughs> you know, you're a kook. Yeah, I know. Look, you want me to call Joey and tell him that you're here? No, don't bother. I'll just wait. You go ahead with your work. <laughs> Suit yourself. Ricky, Angie! Have you seen the papers? Where's Papa? We made Winchell and Sobel in the same day. The launching pad for Joey and Ricky D was last night's toy ball. For East Side met West Side and never the Twain Show twist. Anyone ready for more of the same can find it at the Peppermint Lounge on West 45th Street. It makes rock and roll look like a minuet. Beautiful! Sharon Cassidy introduced the twist to the Stork and El Morocco set last night at the toy ball. You can see it danced in its native habitat at the Peppermint Lounge, where it was introduced by Joey and Ricky D and the Starlighters. They got your names wrong. Winchell and Sobel, you're practically made. How about that? Look, Popper, we're famous. Who is famous? Look, Winchell. Winchell is a very important man. Let me see. The Pepper Mid Lounge. Oh, my place. Joey D and Ricky D. Who's Joey D and Ricky D? That's us, Papa, Joey and I. What's the matter? Are you crazy? Your name is Dianato, Enrico Dianato. Ricky D, Papa, you get it? You change your name? Sure. What's the matter? Are you ashamed of being Italian? It's not that, Pop. Everybody in show business changes their names. Oh, yeah? So I am in show business, too. Maybe I should change my name to D2. So everybody knows that you are my son. <laughs> Dominic D. <laughs> <laughs> well, it don't make no difference. Tuesday, you'll go back to school anyway. Yeah, sure, Pop. So, what are you standing around for? 
Move! It's getting late. We have to open soon. Move, move! This is it. Come on. What's the matter? Not hungry. Listen, a lot can happen between now and Tuesday. Sure. $1,707. I can't believe it. That's more profit I make all year. Now you can afford to take it easier, Pop. Well, good night. Where are you going? You are not coming home with Joey and me? No, Pop. I got a late date. A fourth date in the morning? What kind of girl meets you a fourth date in the morning? I work here till 4 o'clock. You figure it out. Wait. Take that one out of your voice. All right. All right, just get off my back, Papa. Off his back. Hey, what's the matter with Enrico? It's a little beat, Papa. Beat? Now I know as much as I did before I ask. We're all a little tired. No matter how many times I count, it still comes out one head. I'm supposed to know what that means? Well, I figure I must have two heads or something, the way your brother avoids me. Well, I wouldn't care if you had three heads, as long as they all look like that. You're going to make a very nice brother-in-law. Sure I am. What do you want to do, kill him? I can't give it all up, Joey. You can't expect me to. You know what the doc said. Look what it did to him the last time. Besides, he promised. Well, why does he have to be the way he is? Just because he wants to brag, my son the lawyer, my son the teacher. He did what he wanted to do with his life. Now, why can't he let us do what we want with ours? Look, Joey, we hit on something big. We can't just walk away from it now. Tonight, Sharon called and said she set up an album date with Roulette Records. We could still come in for that. Sure. And you can play it 20 years from now and tell all your friends in kindergarten this is what I threw down the drain for 65 bucks a week for the rest of my life. Our lives, Joey. 20, 40, 60 years. And what about the rest of Papa's life? <laughs> yeah. That's what I keep coming back to. Well, at least we know we could have made it. We better hit the sack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good night, Ricky. Good night, Joe. Hello, boys. You up already? Oh, so might as well get an early start. Stop packing for a minute. I want to ask you something. Sit down, Enrico. Uh, don't look at me like you want to give me a kick in the pants. I, I deserve it, but remember, I'm still your father. And if you do that, I knock your block up. <laughs> Nobody wants to give you a kick in the pants, Papa. 
Boys, I want to tell you a little story. Two weeks ago, I walked down the street, all my friends say, Hi, Dominic, hello, Dominic, how's business? But now, since I have two famous sons, it's, uh, Good morning, Mr. Dionato. How do you do, Mr. Dionato? They call me Mr. for the first time in my life because of my son. You think I'm going to give that up because you want to go back to school and live like the other boys on the block? All my life, I worked hard in order to support you. So a few weeks ago, I said to myself, another five years, and I can take it easy. But you think I'm crazy to wait another five years when I can take it easy right now? I'm not so young anymore. So do your papa a big favor. Think it over. Naturally, I can stop you to go back to school, but uh, I personally think that uh, if you do, you have a stones in your head. Rolly poly, rolly poly, let me. Yeah! Crowding you, am I? Not very much. <laughs> right. I got news. You can go ahead with the album deal. I'm not going back to school. Uh, You're not. That? You're not. Divine. You're telling me you made a reservation? We don't make reservations here. First come, first serve. But I'm sure you can find us a table. Sweetness, you are. Ew. <laughs> Look who's coming. Who was it? Oh, darling. They make chocolate money. You heard of frost candies? Good lord. She's turning them away. Sorry, I still can't give you a table if there is no table. I know, but we came all the way from... Wait a minute, I'll be right back. Come on, Arthur. Mr. Frost, I'm terribly sorry. If you'll just step this way and wait a moment, I'll be glad to get you a table. Thank you. Thank you. Al, do me a favor, double up. When you some friends walk in and I need a table. So do we, chum. Look, you can nurse these empty glasses someplace else. Sure, plenty of places. Let's go, friend. Hey, Al, don't get sore. Right this way, Mr. Frost. Thank Mrs. You. Frost, if you'll sit here. There you are. Thank you. Angie, these people are important. More important than your friends? Look, next time check with me, okay? You miss me? You are not going to win friends and people of influence that way. Oh, hey, let's flip, man. Who? I repeat, who is that Gorgon at the door? Angie, she's wonderful. Well, she's hardly my idea of a metro thing. Look, darling, this is not that kind of a place. Sweetness, you cannot expect people like the Frost to wait on the sidewalk. Well, that's the policy of the lounge. First come, first serve. Uh, no. Not if you want the people who can. <laughs> Well, you are going to be so rich. 
I want to surprise the fellas who played for him. Oh, no. Don't go. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. You know me, Little Miss Initiative. What? The most orbital interior decorator friend of mine has dreamed up something you will not believe. Voila. It's great. <laughs> what is it? It's the new peppermint lounge, sweetness. Well, meet me, baby, down on 45th Street. Where the peppermint twisters meet. To do this, the peppermint twisters. All right, all night. It's all right. Good night. Good night. Oh, Ricky, what's wrong? Why don't they say what they're thinking? Ricky, tonight doesn't prove anything. It was practically an invited audience anyway, you know that. The kids will be back tomorrow night. You'll I see. won't be here tomorrow night. Ricky, look, maybe you know something I don't. I mean, about Sharon. But you can't just walk out on your family. I mean, I'm not family, and maybe it's none of my business. But look, it isn't any of your business. I don't understand. One day the place is full up, we redecorate it, and now I'm going blind from the tablecloth. What is this, a funeral parlor? What are you boys doing off the bandstand? Carl, Dave, up there. Willie, Larry, let's go. I want to hear some music. Who are you going to play for? For me. Now let me hear that music. <laughs> There, that's a nice little prop. Aren't you supposed to be at the club? I came here to ask you the same question. Oh, I had this splitting headache. How'd it go? They walked. 
After the first hour, the place looked like a devastated area. They couldn't get out fast enough. They drank up their minimum, didn't they? Minimum charge, cover charge. We priced the kids right out of the place. I mean, that's what brought your friends down in the first place, isn't it? The kids, the twists, the kicks. I've lost it up for good. Sweetness. Maybe it's just the added. How about you? Have you just had it? Now, did I say that? I don't have to be hit on the head. Sweetness. It has been a wonderful ten weeks. Oh, well, what is that supposed to be? Par for course? Please, don't spoil everything now. You really want to get a belly laugh? I came in and I had to ask you to marry me. Come on, sweetness. Laughs, fun. Remember, kicks. I mean, that's what you're in it for, isn't it? Oh, darling, I never wanted this to happen. I got a topper for you. Ricky? Ricky? Please, try. Good luck, pal. Did you hear anything? We looked everywhere we could think of, Papa. You try all his friends, that girl? Yep. I thought he would be back in a few days, but uh, all week. Nobody's blaming him. He didn't have to go away. It wasn't you, Papa, or me. I don't even think it was Sharon. Then why did he go away? Angie, he is all right, isn't he? His pride may be a little... But he'll get over it. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not worried. I mean, I am worried because I'm not really worried. Does that make sense? Sure. You're worried because you're not worried. I mean, I should feel like it's the end of the world. That's the way I thought I'd feel. But I don't. All these weeks standing in line, waiting for the rebound like a, like a vulture with a catcher's mitt. Now he's free and he's gone. And I'm just concerned. Shouldn't I be eating my heart out or something? Maybe you don't love him as much as you thought. But you know when you love someone, don't you? Love's a funny thing, Piper. Sometimes you can love someone and never even know it. Like Papa really loves you? Papa. I was thinking more of you and Joey. Me and Joey? You think it's all right? Sure, Pop. Come on, let's get set up. Uh, what for? Do you think a business is going to be any better tonight? Yeah, I tell you I had a ball here last Liberty. Come on. Here, you must be kidding. Yeah, it must be up the street. Let's go. All right, fellas, knock it off. No sense knocking ourselves out. Well, I don't blame them for leaving. Look at this place. It's enough to scare anybody away. What do you mean? Well, I'll put it to you this way. If you were taking out your girl, would you bring her here? She's here already. Oh, I'm serious. So am I. You know, this place has got an arm and leg written all over it. Maitre d', hat check girl, five dollar minimum. Who can afford it? You've priced the kids right out of here, Joey. She's right. Anyone under 20 would take one look at this place and panic. I guess you just put into words what the rest of us have been thinking all along. I'm with you. Any ideas? Well, it's so obvious. Maybe I'm a little stupid, so tell me. Put it back the way it was, for goodness sake. The kids made it once, they can make it again. I don't know. Once the place has had it, it's had it. What's it going to cost you to try? The twist hasn't had it. It's bigger than ever all over town, all over the world. Every place but here, Joy, right where it started. What do you think, fellas? Well, let's do it. What you ain't no. And the first thing I want to get rid of is this. Wait a minute. 
First things first. You, how? We won't need reservations. First come, first serve. We'll send you your check. You know you make me want to shout. Throw my hand up and tap. Kick my heels back and tap. Throw my head back and tap. Come on now. Don't forget to say you will. Don't forget to say yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me, you want to please me, come on now, come on now, come on now, I still remember when you used to be nine years old, yeah, I put up a book for you, I'm the bottom of my soul, yeah, yeah, now that I'm grown up, open up to know, yeah, yeah, you want to leave me, yeah, you want to let me go. I want you to know. I said I want you to know right now. You've been good to my baby, better than I've been to myself. And if you ever leave me, I don't want nobody else. I said I want you to know. I said I want you to know right now. You know you make me wanna come on now, come on now, come on now, come on now. Take it easy, 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 take it easy. It's a little bit softer now, 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 a little bit softer now. Just a little bit louder 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 now. Hey, 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 hey
Angelina, turn up the air condition. It's going to be a hot night. Dominic, what are you going to do with all that money you're making? Why don't you retire? Take it easy. Find yourself a nice wife. Not too young, not too old. A little money of her own, maybe? Retire? <laughs> Who's going to run the lounge? You think you run the lounge? You know as well as I do who runs the lounge. Joey. You're right. He's a smart boy. Good head for business. He's happy. That's all that counts, right? Now, if I knew Enrico was happy to. Say, kids, listen, we have a big surprise here tonight, and it just walked in. Six months gone, back tonight at the Peppermint Lounge, my brother, Ricky D. Yeah. I ought to slap you hard. Why didn't you let me know where you were? Here's where I was, Papa. You were a diploma. I couldn't let all that tuition go to waste. I hope you settle for one college man in the family, Pop. Ricky. Come, sit down. We'll celebrate. When Joey got your wire this afternoon, he fixed up a big surprise for you. What's the surprise? Listen. Hey, kids, and here's another surprise. <laughs> What'd you learn that? I've been thinking of a few things. You sure have. Come on now, hey, look at me. I'm as happy as I can be. Nobody but you come on now, take me, baby, take me up and let me do my twist. Yeah, shake me, baby, shake me up. I like to be like this. Well, I've been watching you, and I'm gonna twist on to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Brush up on some fine points. Yourself, but I think there's something you ought to know. She digs you, right? So forget about it. So then how come she said I'm going to make a nice brother-in-law? She said that? Among other things like, uh, would I be best man at your wedding? A wedding? Uh, confidentially, don't do anything uh, June 24th. <laughs> <laughs> 